programa Cooking Up a Conversation with Sol Colombo? Rodando. Hello and welcome to Cooking Up a Conversation with Sol Colombia with your host, me, Sanjay. And today is our first episode called UN75 Plus Sol How to Cook a Large Scale Nationwide Conversation to Create the Future that We Want. Welcome. So hi, we are Seoul Colombia and our purpose is to design the future of learning in Colombia. Our passion is to connect education, technology and rural Colombia. And uh, as you might know, well, in this country, decades of armed conflict and violence have silenced people for a long time. People are scared of speaking. Uh, probably we've, heard, we've never known well how to have a conversation because it's always been a big issue. And since 2014, we, the team of Seoul Colombia, have begun an initiative to break that silence. It's called SOL. SOL stands for Self-Organized Learning Environments. And basically it's part of a global movement to use technology to empower groups to learn, collaborate, and most importantly of all, to solve real life problems together. Uh, in that sense, uh, this year, the UN, is turning 75 and uh, the Secretary General of the UN, Antonio Guterres, suggested to the world to come together in, to shape our future in a worldwide dialogue to think about what kind of a future we want to create. And here in Colombia, the UN approached us, so Colombia, to join them in creating this large-scale conversation, nationwide conversation, with three big purposes. One, to connect people hopefully people, to gather voices of those people who are less heard. Uh, second, to amplify their voices using different kinds of channels. And third, to inspire mobilization, to inspire action in people. So that is what we're here to tell you a little bit about today. So what are we cooking? As in all good cooking TV shows, uh, we're going to show you first the result of what a large-scale nationwide conversation looks like to talk about the future that we want to create. Basically, we've had over 1,500 people participating from all corners of the country. Uh, diverse voices of kids, teens, adults, uh, elderly people, women, men, indigenous communities, Afro-descendants, uh, teachers, librarians. We've had a wide range of voices, diverse range of voices coming together to talk about the future that they want. And in that sense, we've had kids talking in Puerto Alejandria, Quimbaya, talking to us about how they are concerned about taking care of the river, which is their sustenance in their town. Or we've had people like Angelica from Bogota talking about the importance of teaching about love. Or uh, Israel Medrano from Cartagena talking about us as the people who have to create the peace. And the way we have to create peace is precisely listening. And I think this is what this whole conversation has been about. We've had also people like Alirio Gonzalez, who talks about the importance of learning to what we had learned from what our grandparents already knew, which was the idea of not having to live with such level of comfort, and probably that has to do with taking care of our environment. Or Maria Isabel Murillo, who also talks to us about racial discrimination in this country and how we have to use education to eradicate those kind of racial discriminations. Uh, we also have Maria Sun who talks to us about how we can treat, create trust and sort of get rid of this fear that is right now up to date in our conversation with both violence and pandemia. And I think what's very beautiful is, for example, this last quote by uh, Fabian saying what you can't build through dialogue, but it doesn't build absolutely anything at all, which is basically saying the only way we can really create this future that we want is through dialogue. So we have done waves of conversation throughout the 2020, starting since last May. And these are the faces of the people who have been participating in our conversation, giving us their voices so we can amplify them, take them off to the UN. So next step, let's get into cooking a great conversation. So what are our ingredients for a great conversation? Well, the first ingredient is you need around 20 people for a conversation, hopefully very diverse types of people, uh, ranging in ages and 
uh, interest from different parts of the country. That's the first part that you're going to need. Uh, we're talking about, our, we had conversations of around 20 people. Why 20? Because 20 is a good amount for everybody to get a voice out. But also, it's a good way of uh, having a, a very rich conversation. Less people is not a bad thing, but if you can get 20, it's pretty good. So what do you do? You call them up and you invite them to a conversation. The next thing you need is a big question. That's very important. A big question can motivate an awesome conversation. People will talk about what's important to them, but if you have a good question, that's going to be clear. The next thing you need is a good method for conversation, and that's where we have soul, self-organized learning environments, where basically people will come together to answer a big question without the need of a teacher. The next thing you need is a space for deep conversation, and as pandemia didn't allow us to come together, in presence, we'll be using the virtual world to do so, and for that we have two tools, one for video conferencing, which is called Start Soul, and another one for asynchronic conversation, which is called Lumio. Basically, both platforms allow us to engage with people with different difficult uh, levels of connectivity from different parts of the country. It's been beautiful during this pandemic because we've been able to talk to tons of people. Lastly, what you need, a computer, a little bit of internet per person, I think most importantly, what you need is a bit of guts and a lot of fun so you can take it forward. So, let's go into the method of conversation. What does that look like? So, basically, we had waves of conversation. We're going now to our fifth wave of conversation. A wave of conversation takes around uh, six weeks. The first part, we train people, to, we prepare them to have conversations. So what we're doing is we're inviting our soul ambassadors all over the country for them to make their own conversations. They invite 20 people from their community and uh, they create the big question with which they want to have a conversation. So they take those 20 people, they put in their big question and they create, do a remote soul. A remote soul has uh, four simple steps saying hello, presenting the big question, letting go and letting people go and answer the big questions and then coming back together to harvest all the answers which are there and allowing people to have an open conversation. After that, people come, the, the ambassador takes notes of what happened, writes down a conclusion and we put it on our Lumio platform for people to vote if they agree or not with, the, uh, with what was taken as notes, inviting people to be actively participant of making their voice heard. Finally, we register those results and send them off to the UN so that that's heard. But more importantly, we take those results and give them back to the community and say, hey, these are all the conversations that are happening in posts like this in social media with our maps or our infographics or inviting people to different uh, open spaces of conversation like radio shows or other video conferences to do these kind of things. Inviting people to analyze what happened in each wave of conversation and hopefully inviting them to continue talking. Finally, the last part of this wonderful conversation has to do with how you serve and share. And today, this is what we're doing with you. We're sharing to you how we had this conversation and hopefully inviting many more people to do this. Because imagine what would happen to a country like Colombia and what would happen to the world if we all spoke about all those interesting and difficult topics which have which are in our mind right now. Thanks so much for listening. Hope you enjoyed the show. And what is your big question to start a wonderful conversation? Start it today.